Hello, it's Marco Matoros here from Markham 3D, and today we're just going to be talking about the basics of basics of the particle system. So here I've just got a plane, or a circle, and I've got a wall and a floor. I'm going to right click on our plane. This is going to be the emitter. I'm going to click on the particles tab and add in a new particle. Number is the amount of particles that are going to spawn in between the start and the end frames. Lifetime is going to be the lifetime of the particles. Lifetime randomness is the randomness of the particles. Let's bump that up to one. So for now, I'm just going to press play and you can see that it kind of just spews out of there. Let's go into velocity. I want it to come flying across here. So I'm going to turn up the normals to about 20 and we can see now that they're flying out and they're going through the walls and disappearing into oblivion. I've settled on 30. From here, I'm going to right click on this wall and come into the physics tab and enable collisions. And now we can see that they're bouncing off. Come down here, let's enable the collisions on that as well. So now we've got them bouncing around. Let's come back onto our face, back into the particle system. Let's scroll down. Let's say I want objects to come flying out. I'm going to just go shift A and let's add in a isosphere. Just gonna move that out of the way. Come back to our particle system. We're gonna click on render. Render as halos, we wanna render as objects. From here, I'm just gonna set the icosphere. And now we're gonna see we've got icospheres come flying out. However, they're a little bit small, we can bump them up so they're nice and big. Let's say I just don't want one object to be spawning, I want multiple objects. Select our um, icosphere, I'm gonna select our cylinder, which was just there for decoration. Control G to make a collection. Let's call this spawn color, whatever. And I'm gonna go back into the particle system, go down to render, change it from object to collection. Let's select our color, spawn collection. And now we can see that we're spawning both the icospheres and the cylinders. We can come into velocity as well. We can change some of the information in here. We can randomize where they're coming out. So they're coming out more of a spray now. And also just quickly, if you don't like the fact that they're kind of sliding off and you you don't want it to be as bouncy, we can click on our walls. We can go back into the physics tab. And here we've got a whole bunch of settings on just what we want on the wall to do. Stickiness will be how much it sticks to the wall. Dampening will be how much it dampenings the force. And obviously randomize, randomizes this so it actually bounces on and off. This can be the same as the floor plane where I can go friction, I can enable that so it literally sticks to the ground. Or I can randomize it and let it slide off a little bit. This is the very most basics of Particle System. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps you up to date. Thank you very much.